Welcome back, everyone. You may be in a situation where you want to go ahead and stop your Android phone from spying on you. Now, this is kind of a loaded thing because, you know, there's a lot of different ways that a phone can technically spy on you, but also nobody's actually looking through your phone, you know, from somebody around you or whatever. Usually it's applications who are just utilizing your data in the background and they're just using them to serve ads typically. But if you want to go ahead and limit these things, the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and remove any applications that you're not currently using or maybe applications you didn't even know you installed in the first place. So with a lot of Samsung, a lot of Android phones in general, they have a lot of bloatware. So if you have the ability to, to remove them, there are some tools out there if you have root access to remove them. If not, you may want to go through and delete the ones you can. So go through, let's say you don't like, you know, for example, let's say you don't want this one anymore, you go and hold it down, you can go and uninstall it. In each application you uninstall, the higher and higher the likelihood is of those applications not being able to snoop your phone in the background. So that's the first thing. Another thing I'd recommend doing is actually making your way over to your you know, actual system settings and you want to go ahead and secure your phone as much as possible. So what you want to do is if you have any ability of actually enabling two-factor authentication on your phone, on your passcode, if you have face unlocking, your Instagram account, whatever applications you have, just turn on two-factor authentication. That is another big thing I'd recommend doing. On top of that, if you actually go ahead and make your way down over to your actual application manager, so sometimes it's like apps and data or something like that, so here we go, we just have apps. What you can do is even the applications that you have on your phone, you can actually scroll through within it and you can actually open up the application like here and you wanna force stop these applications. So here at the bottom right on my Samsung, there's a little force stop animation. All I have to do is go and click on force stop, click okay, and that application will now technically be turned off in the background. When you open up an app and you close it, that app can still be open. So by turning off force stop, that's another way to do it. Also, permissions. This is another big thing. So here, if we go and click on permissions, you can see I have not given this specific, per, you know, any permissions to this specific application. But there can be some apps out there that you may accidentally give permissions to. So I click here, you can see I have allowed Call of Duty to have access to some nearby devices, some files and media, and also my microphone. And you can see that I can go ahead and remove permissions if I need to. But usually with these games, it's okay if they have access to my files or nearby devices because I can connect a controller and microphone, you know, if I want to talk to players. So the best thing to do is go through all these applications, any ones that you're not using anymore, force stop them if you can, especially like this one. I don't know what this one is. You can go under, you know, permissions right here and you want to disable permissions for any apps that you don't know or don't have access to. I can't delete this application, but I can go ahead and, you know, don't allow access to these specific applications right here. And that will help kind of secure my iPhone a little bit more too. So. Some other things, you can update your applications, you can update your phone, but those are just some of the main ways to do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well then.